Hello, everyone. I am disappointed. No this time. I was gonna say, wow. That's... Third time's a charm. It's that crusty <laughs> psycho. We are playing a game known as Hello Charlotte Episode Three. This is a very special day, and I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, did it get cut <laughs> off before I got to tell you? Yep. Oh well, today is Henri's birthday. Oh, ew! I don't like Henri. No, be nice to her. She's 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 a good girl. She's abusive. We'll see. We'll see more of her. And okay. Understand her a little better. Uh, this is the third time we've recorded this first part, so. Good lord. <laughs> Let's start again. Oh look, ether works. Yeah. Yay! Look, it's look. like I haven't seen this before yet. Shush, the production value is incredible. Oh, I haven't seen this either. So I thought it's cool. This is about as far as we got. This is Come hard. gather both the young and the old. Come enjoy the show, a show of lies and gods. A, the twists and turns and imperfection of sterile whiteness and ink black vomit. Blending into splendid gray. Of paranoia and psychosis. And the, and the brilliance of the human mind. Welcome back, dear puppeteer, long time no see. What are you here? For I wonder, the truth, entertainment, romance. <laughs> oh, don't tell me you're here because of our contract. If that is true, I will do anything in my power to help you save the child. In fact, I've already made my preparations for the journey. All you need to do is to see it through from the beginning to the very end. Don't forget to save your data, your puppet's data. Well then, I hope you'll enjoy the show. Huh. In the beginning there was a voice. A voice I knew belonged to mother. Be a good girl, okay, it said. Then suddenly I knew what to do next. It's nice to meet you, I said. Please take care. Who was I meeting? Who was, I go who was going to take care of me? Just who was I saying this to? I didn't know. I had no way of knowing. What was my purpose? Why was my head filled with memories of people I didn't know? Just what was I supposed to be? Be a good girl, okay, the voice repeated. A good girl. Is that what, it, what I was? You don't have to be, another voice interrupted. The moment I knew, before me stood the god of this world. <laughs> episode zero, and so it goes. Hey, I thought it was episode three. Surprise. I feel lied to. Good. That dream again. What a way to start a new day. Oh well. I should greet everyone before going to school. Yeah, explore! O okay, or you can just leave her- you know, it's- I always tell you, look at- look at stuff, it's fun. All the clothes are inside are white and neatly folded. There are books on the shelf. 1984, The Castle Fahrenheit 451. I haven't read most of these books anyway. <coughs> but when I mention these titles, people think I'm smart. Fahrenheit 451 was a good book. Hmm. Inside the- Drawer is a stack of society pamphlets ready for distribution. Stay white with us. Read the front page. Welcome to. Well, aren't you broken? That reminds me, if you put dead animals into this Omnicube, they start moving again. Oh. The current hmm. user has restricted access to the data module. Yeah, sure. Logged in successfully. No data available. <laughs> I accidentally cleared all the data the other day. Oop. Current users restrict the access to the majority of the areas on the first floor and the second floor. I don't really need to use it anyway. The elevators like me. There's a camera in here now. Mm hmm. Yeah, check out. Look at look, look at us. Ooh, we got a TV room. The porter is happily reading the news in a loop. Static. Oh, Billy yeah. White knows on this TV. Some of the tenants enjoy watching channels like these. Dr. Huxley says they have calming properties. There's eggs. The modern oh, take on All My Friends Are Dead is airing today. I love it. Well, the TVs isn't showing anything. <laughs> go to the upper room. Aiden's room. I'm coming in. Hmm. Different from the usual. No, nope. go back. Go no, back thank in you. there. No, thank you. Go back in I there. Should've, I should have been afraid. That the Go fact that there and talk to Aiden. No, it's gonna be yes. sad and scary. Morning, Aiden. <laughs> These dolls are so pretty. 
Where do you get the materials from, I wonder? Not telling, huh? Well then, I'll leave you to it. There's no use talking to you when you're like this, is there? You can look at the dolls, too. They're very, um... I just think you should, you know, explore things and look at things. <clears throat> Most of these dolls look like me. <clears throat> this one kind of resembles me. Oh, I... Oh, I hate this. Some of the dolls have hair stuffed into their heads. Everything here is in perfect symmetry. Every doll has a copy on the other side of the room. This one's smiling properly. Can I leave now? I hate it. I hate it. Fine. There's nothing else to click. I mean, you could talk to Aiden again, but I don't think he'll... Yeah, Aiden won't pay me any attention. Not in this form, at least. In this form? Can I shift and run again? Holy shit! Yeah, but you don't need to because you move fast enough and also because you tend to skip stuff when you... Uh... Stop shifting. Wee! <laughs> All the books here are for show. All, All the these books, books are blank, blank pages. pages. Yep. Hmm. Carbon copy of the, the one next to it. If a book is colored differently from the others, it must be important. Oh, it's the same as the others. <laughs> okay, so this is all the same color plants. Seem to be doing well. I hate this. Why? Because I love childlike drawings, but this is just... This is the one of the... This is the kitchen. And this way should be... Nope. The boiler room. What? The boiler provides us with hot water. Boiler rooms are quite popular in horror games, aren't they? We have one too. If you go through the kitchen and there's a door on the other side which will lead you. I the... noticed. Yeah. I don't like I, I like the art style, but <laughs> No. Was... Hmm, I don't think I said hello to everyone just yet. Okay, so this is Yeah, let's oh, go to the basement. The basement. Well this is colored now. Mm-hmm. Huxley's room. Huxley. I just go and see what these each of these doors yeah. are. Felix's lab. Morning, Felix. Um, oh, morning. Been busy? Well, as usual. I prepared the thing you asked me to here. Acquired a happy bottle. So fast. You really are good at this. Right. This calls for a reward. Felix winces upon touch, backing away. Something wrong? No, forget it. Weirdo. I was just gonna pat you, didn't I? I feel something smack my head. It's a gloved hand. Morning, human maggot! Having fun? Yep. Bennett ruffles my hair with force. Mr. Honiger here doesn't look like he's having fun, though. <laughs> or is it that he's just constantly bitter? Who can tell? My eye has gotten worse. I'm standing right here, you know. I know, I know. So, what are you guys up to? I just came for the bottle I asked Felix to prepare for me. Oh, what's inside? A secret cookie ingredient. Ah? Tell me, tell me now! Ask Felix. I should be going. Geez, so mean. Oh, this Hmm. Next room is locked. No entry allowed, says the sign. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, we don't. They don't seem to like me that much. No entry, especially for you, Wiltshire. Jeez, they're still so stuck up about that one accident. Yeah, they don't seem very nice to us right now. Dirty Dirt. chainsaw lies <laughs> on the floor. It's probably Bennett's. The door Close is door. locked. Hi, Dr. Huxley. Hey, Dr. Huxley. Dr. Henry. Ah, uh, gods, it's you, Miss Wiltshire. As you can see, I'm busy. I know. I just wanted to say hi. Sure, sure. Hello, good morning. How are you? The weather sure is fine today. With that done, I'll be returning to work. Here, have a pack of gummy ears, and go make yourself useful to society. Acquired gummy ears. Yeah, whatever. Come think of it, I've never seen the faces of the corpses you're performing the experiments on. Why is that, I wonder? Dr. Huxley ignores me. Well, thanks for the input. Bye, Dr. Huxley. Huh, I don't... <laughs> Cake. Cake. A cake with a perfectly shaped red strawberry on top. Truly terrifying. So what are you gonna say? 
This, this is very weird. Yeah, it is. It's different from the Charlotte right. we're used to. Wait a minute. Where could this store lead to? Hmm. I can't go there when Huxley's around. No offense to Charlotte, but she seems more like a jerk. Yeah, she is. Yeah, let's go inside. <laughs> you can go into the other apartments, too. Nope. There's one of them that you can, anyway. Doors Doors locked. Locked. Seems to be open. Can't wander around too much, though. Wow, it's a lot like our own. Locked. Oh. Locked. Oh, it's Charlotte. Charlotte. This one's dead. Locked. Hmm. Every other room is locked. Free but free at least we can see. Free Don't shift, because you know you're gonna miss stuff, and, I, and I'll like actually fight you. <laughs> Initiating eye, eye scan. scan. Eye, eye scan successful. Aren't you late for school? Nah, I'm coming just in time for lunch. Hey, I have something for you. I give the gummy ears to the elevator. Thank you very much. Where do you want to go? To 2F, please. Of course. Are we going to make comments about the blood? All over the no. fucking elevator? Destination Just... reach. Yay! Phew! Daily Wisdom Machine. Insert a coin and play new quotes every day. Feel free to send us your comments and suggestions. Please stop sending us the complaints about getting repeating messages. I'll burn your house down. It's not an acceptable complaint and will be overlooked. So let's use it. It's never too late to pretend. Is that oh. C? Oh. Oh. Someone's having Someone's a hard, having hard time. Hey. I'm so sorry. But it's none of my business, is it? Oh, wait. Let me snap a photo. ka -ching! And done. Hey, stop it. <laughs> no more business here. I love the music, though. Yeet! Oh. You can interact with those. The school janitors clean these up every day. What an unlucky fellow. He didn't know there was a hidden ladder. The mattress doesn't really soften the fall. Not everyone survives the fall. Hello. Hello. I can't get him to understand me at all. Maybe you should try using Link. What's that? Well, it's a drug that connects minds. Neat, huh? Yeah. It's a little room. Infirmary. A garden. How's your day? How's your How's day? day? <laughs> Where do you want to go? Uh, let's go to the third floor. Okay. Good day, Miss Wilshire. Good day. Hmm. The library is the best place to link, in my humble opinion. Great society meetings are held behind the store. That's true. Rooftop. What's gonna do there? That's the library. Oh! Henri! Lata! Oh. Hi. I knew you'd come, so I bought us lunch. Just how you like it, lactose free. Aw, oh, how kind of you. You wanna join me or what? If, if that's okay with you. Sure, I don't mind. Let's go to the rooftop. Our friends must be waiting, aren't they? Uh, will they be joining us today, <laughs> too? Of course they will. Food tastes better in company, doesn't it? Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Wow, it's such a weird way to see Henri. Wow, his brains are melting. Must be a link overdose. Long live white society. Long live white society. Please connect with me. I'm so lonely. Ugh, get off me. Charlotte. Oh, I don't like this Charlotte. <laughs> I know, I love that, like, you start playing and you're like, oh, my baby, and then, oh my god, that's not my baby. <laughs> there. Good day, Miss Wiltshire. Henri, say hi, too. Hello. Ooh, is that what I think it is? Miss Warhol is so considerate buying you a meal. Why didn't she buy some for us, too? Uh, I... Uh, she didn't know you'd be joining in. Even though we eat together all the time? How rude. 
She won't forget it next time. Right, Henri? Right. See? <laughs> hmm. <gasps> Suddenly we hear the click of the door lock. Oh! oh. Hey, she's alive! Well, yeah, this, this is a totally different timeline. I oh, guess. <laughs> Skipping lessons again, huh? Oh no, it's her. Ugh, the killjoy's here. Gloomy as always. Hey, let's be quiet. You all know the rooftops of the rooftops off limits, right? It's not the first time I've caught you here. We're so sorry, Miss Class Rep. An apology won't cut it. We promise we won't do it again. And get off the rooftop now or I'm calling the teachers. Teacher, she says. Hello, Lotta. Nah, let her be. It's more fun this way. Scott's oh, expression yeah, softens a little when she looks at Henri. <clears throat> be around them, Miss Warhol. You're better off without these lowlifes around. What are you talking about, Miss Eiler? They're my friends. As you say. Now then, leave immediately. I won't be repeating myself twice. I'm surprised I didn't push her off the roof. <laughs> the class rep favors you, huh, Henri? Well, our little Miss Warhol here is famous for being the teacher's pet. Right, girl B? Yeah, right. Everyone's getting along. Thinking back, when did I meet Henri? Ah, right. It was back then when her skirt got stolen from her locker during PE class. By the girl sitting right here, no less. She had nothing to change into, so she had the track shorts all day. Everyone was laughing at her. See how helpless and embarrassed she was? I felt nothing. And didn't do anything. I left her alone, and now she's nothing more than an errand girl buying us coffee. That's all there is to it. No, nope, I don't like this. Lata, are you coming to class? Go on without me, alright? I have club activities today. Alright. I go, go, nope, this isn't the Charlotte I like. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Next. Next, please. No, nope, gotta, gotta keep, uh, keep trucking. I don't want to. Oh. Fancy meeting you here. Huh? <laughs> just walk away. There goes our profound bond. She just walked by. Um, do I know you? How cold. Oops, my sticky keys got activated. That's uh -oh. okay. Because we keep hitting shift. Stop it. Stop it. How cold. Nothing in the world can define me, but you can call me C. Ring a bell? Oh, Charles. Got yourself a new vessel? Wait, I've seen this one somewhere. Near the alleyway. Bingo, bango, bongo. Picked it up on my way here. Now I can blend in with the rest of the students. Rather convenient, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. We avoided school grounds like the plague until today. <laughs> I suppose I really do feel more at ease in this vessel. Yeah, sure. Bet you're happy you got yourself a new meat suit. Is this how little you think of me? My only intention is to keep him safe. Right, right. You care. Sure thing. In any case, I have things to do. No time for idle talk. Well then, don't be late for class. No need. I'm skipping. You should join me on the White Society meeting next time. It'll be fun. I highly doubt it, but thank you for the invitation, nevertheless. Hmm, you do you. See you later, C. Greetings, friends. Welcome to our weekly White Society meeting. What is our motto? Stay safe, stay clean, stay white. What is our goal? To ascend, to... That's the spirit. You all worked hard and since the new moves to Blacklist this week. Well done, everyone. As you all know, the process of blacklisting is the following. 1. Find the tainted. 2. Submit their information to our website. 3. Vote. The person who gets the most votes gets punished. Easy as that. That being said, I want you all to decide on the special guest for today's execution hour. Vote! I hate this. Vote for those who wronged you. Vote for those who upset you. Vote for those who hurt you. We shall hurt them a thousand times more. Three, two, one. With this, the voting is over. Thank you for your input. Let's stay white together. Well, time to get ready for the show. Huh, you don't, you don't like, you don't like Charlotte? I thought, I thought no. we loved Charlotte. 
You probably feel bad for Henri now. <laughs> nope. What a way to celebrate Henri's birthday. It's, it's... Did you know that our bodies harbor 150 times more genetic material than microbial origin than one of our own? Plainly put, 90% of you is not you. I love these ads. Fear not. <clears throat> Ether Solutions has a solution just for you. With our advanced technology, we will cut all the freeloaders out of your body. Your body is yours to be own. This sure. is yours to own. Be yourself. 100% you always. Welcome to the general, please. Execution hour. I hate this so much. <laughs> this program is supported no. by White Society. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our daily program, the execution hour. Meet Girl B. For today's show only, she'll have the privilege of having a face. <laughs> you must be wondering, who the hell is this? This is the first we've ever seen this character. Give me one second, I'm gonna actually turn on the monitor, but... No worries. There. Much better. Okay. How the hell am I supposed to sympathize? And you're absolutely, totally right! Because this is a total... Is this the girl B that they went to lunch with? Yeah. Oh. But... If I told you she did bad things, you'd believe me, right? Probably not. If I told you to avoid her, you'd believe me, right? Highly unlikely. Nobody cares enough to check the facts anyway. I do. That is why we're here right now. Anyhow, she was chosen to be the guest in this week's episode by you, dear friend. I they did not vote. Cookies. <laughs> Hush, we're on TV. Manners, remember? First, you take a handful of butter and smash it into the bowl. Smash it! Come on, put more force into it. Nope. Don't be a wimp. Nope. Then you're you put an in asshole. a handful of flour. No, no. I, I'll be honest with you. Frey would never let this happen. <laughs> Ugh, come on. Oh no! Don't cry. Look, it's right before your eyes. Look, the flour. See, you did it. Here, I'll help you mix in the sugar. Keep mixing. Keep mixing. You know, hey, uh, Dr. Huxley, <laughs> Bennett, I'm gonna need your chainsaw. We gotta end this girl's life. I'm, I'm, I'm being 100% honest with you. you. We, we gotta put this one down. Come on. Show them the drawing. Here it is. No one in their right mind would draw that, right? Therefore, they must be punished. That's why we'll add a special ingredient. I wonder what it is. Quiz time! Let's vote, everyone. What is the special ingredient? Is it needles, Clorox, or raisins? Probably Clorox. Results time. Applause. Most of you guessed right. It was Clorox. Was it anything I picked? No, it's it's always Clorox. Oh, so I was right? Yep. Now we'll have our guest taste the cookie dough. Let me go. The fuck is wrong with you? Oh, gosh. Mind your language. We're PG rated. We'll all pretend we didn't hear it, right, friends? Our friend here seems to have trouble eating, so I shall pour the mask right into their mouth. Yay. Wow, sure looks tasty. <laughs> Yum. Now then, you need to preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. But since we don't have an oven, we can use our guest's body as a substitute. And yeah, you can guess what's happening. Next. <laughs> here I go. <laughs> Concludes our show. Stay white with us. Join White Society. What's up, Mike? You having some feelings and thoughts about this? Oh, I have a ton. None of them are <laughs> PG rated. You're right. This is a PG rated show. Yeah, you're right. Destination reached. Can I crash this elevator? Nope. There's no going back if you press the 11F button by accident. Huxley! I need, I need some surgery. Nope, those are the uh, other apartments. I, oh. I, I, I guess? I'm too worn out to wander around. Too sleepy to bother, Aiden. Let's just hope you die. God, I'm tired. Let's call it a day and get some rest. Good night, me. You did well today. <laughs> so 
So if you look in, like, where you usually have, like, the Book of Truth, um, you'll see- Oh, the god of this world told me a story about a girl who was the heroine of her story, about a girl who was bestowed with a gift that could grant a single wish. However, were her wish to come true, she would die shortly after. That's the kind of gift it was. The girl wished for everyone to be happy. It was a kind, simple wish full of hope. But all it did was destroy individuality itself. Oh, that was the last ending. The meaning of happiness. <sighs> Another timeline, the girl wished for the world to end. It was a desperate, messy wish full of despair. But all it did was destroy only a fraction of the world, because she couldn't grasp how big it was. You, too, can get your wish granted, said the god of this world, because you, too, are the heroine of your story. There's school today, too, huh? I'm not in a hurry, though, so I can wander around a bit. I hate this. No. But yeah, if you go to items, um, manual, yeah. Controls, and then you get a little info if you hit, like, the next button. Yeah, so we, our puppet status, this is a different, this is a different unit, I guess, than the last one we had. Oh. Um. This is Q84. Aiden's room! I knock. No answer. I go in anyway. Hi, Aiden! Aiden? Good morning, dear. Aiden, you're back! What are you up to? Uh, just finishing up a, a new headpiece. Want to try it on? Of course! Aiden gives me the item he was holding. It's my own scalp sewn into a hat. Here, let me help you put it on. So, how is it? Whoa, it's totally rad! Nope! <laughs> I'm out! I'll see you later! <laughs> Help, I can't control your computer though! Yeah, I got a lot of things to see in this life, and it's not fucking this! Holy shit! <laughs> I hate this! Oh, it's so fucked up, I love it! It's like really good though! I'm glad. Uh, to be honest, I'm rather proud of this piece myself. Coming in later, I have a dress for you to try on. It's very you, I would say. Right. I leave Aiden be. Nothing is alright. I better leave him be. So I'm, I'm guessing something went wrong during this Aiden's... Oh, by the way, when you have options to pick, um... I don't, are you playing this through Steam? Yeah. Okay, well, you get achievements for picking the, um, dickish options. <laughs> so if you would like to be a horrible jerk to your housemates, since it seems to be in character... Um, nope, I won't be nice. Stop, stop using shift, you can get around just fine without it. Go in the basement. Oh. Hi, Bennett. Sorry, no time to talk. My favorite show is starting in an hour and I haven't finished my errands yet. When I visit the TV room later. <laughs> oh, hi Huxley. I am not Huxley. I am the robot version of Huxley that he specifically designed to talk to annoying children like you, puppet unit. No way! Huxley does robotic engineering now? No, Florence did that, but he took all the credit. Confidential information. I knew it. Please tell me you know how to make ice cream. I sure do. <laughs> Want to live in the kitchen's cupboard in case I need you? I sure do. Hey, are you going to agree to every nonsensical thing I tell you to do? I was told to obey, obey every request if it doesn't involve interrupting Huxley's work. Oh. Can you kill this worker for me? I sure can. The worker's head explodes. Said and done. Whoa. You're the best Huxley ever. Sorry, Archibald. Tough luck. Oh my god. He's bleeding oil? How many of the workers are androids? Five total. Only four left now. Nice! I'm placing my bets on Baldwin and Goodwin. They're too user-friendly to be true. Did you call for us, Miss Wiltshire? Ah, yes. I mean, no. Abort operation. Aw. They leave the very next moment completely losing interest in me. <laughs> See, Robo Huxley? They are so considerate they feel bad about not spending time with me. No organic life form ever does that. Actually, soap can induce a fleeting feeling of affection and euphoria just for the tiny price of the sentence level decree. Oh my god, did Huxley include the advertisement function in you? You are now useless and I'm leaving. We already have six TVs for that. 
It's five. What is a microwave? Well, bye. Goodbye, puppet unit. <laughs> this area is off limits. We're still dealing with the consequences of the gas leak. Go away. I have a theory that there these thorns might have released a poisonous gas. This area is off limits. Fucking rip, rip Archibald. to Archibald. <laughs> huh. Hey, don't die here. Stop making more work for us. Oh, okay. My bad. Whee! This door lead to... No, yeah, Huxley's still technically around. Why don't we just ask him to leave? Hey, Honaker? Ah, looks like he isn't here. Maybe I can find something interesting while he's absent. Civilized man has eight deadly, deadly sins. sins. Lullaby. Lullaby. Computer working. working. There's some research files on the desktop. Take a peek. No, be respectful. Yes, you have to be a jerk, remember? I don't want to be. Yeah, you gotta. No. <laughs> Why would I be a jerk? It feels like it'll only lead me to death. I mean, there's no... You can't do, like, a bad ending from, like, making choices, uh, like, for the most part. Like, the... <sighs> they don't like her anyway. I don't like being mean to the people I love! Get those Chivos! I don't this care is... about the Chivos! <laughs> but also, you do have to interact with the computer at all, I think, to um, be able to leave, so... Uh. So, like, look at his files. Take a peek, yes. Oh! So this is the stuff he's been working on. The Oracle and Mind Control, Mag Cat says Disease Carriers, Ice Nine. Oh, Honaker, Honaker, don't you know the rules? You don't want to play, I destroy your research. Ugh, fine, I'll leave it be for now. Yeah, you would get an achievement for deleting that. Uh, you have to go to the TV room before you can leave as well. Why? Because she said she wanted to visit it. But he's not in there yet. I know. That's not what she cares about. I feel a sudden urge to break something. Break the TV screen. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Even with this, Charlotte, you'll be you'll be nice, huh? Yeah, so we're gonna end this episode here because now my heart is dead. So bye everyone. Aw, uh, bye everyone.